if you've not walked this out, you have no authority to to tell me what you would and wouldn't do and what you think I should and shouldn't do. So that means you need to shut your mouth. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and it's uh, another episode of what the hell is happening to Kendall and her channel. Well, mainly Kendall. Um, as we all know from past videos that I've done, we've covered the fact that her and Daniel are in turmoil at the moment. It's so exciting, the drama, what will happen next, will Daniel move out, will they get back together, What? how's therapy going? It's such an exciting drama filled life that they live and it's so good that they're sharing it with the rest of us. I feel so honoured, honestly. So. <laughs> All jokes aside, I think she's having a breakdown. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not laughing at her <laughs> much. I'm not laughing at the situation, but... It just feels a bit like every day is another day in the life of Kendall and her drama. It's, um... Yeah, it's great. <laughs> So, this happened, she put up a very, very risky <laughs> thumbnail, I, I've got to say, okay, there's clickbait, and then there's clickbait, I feel that Kendall being left alone with this entire project now is quite dangerous, <laughs> because she could end her own channel, and she put up this very risky thumbnail, which said... It was all a lie. It was a hoax. <laughs> but the thing is, right, when you do thumbnails and you do clickbait, you have to, you absolutely have to put a question mark because that means you, you are clickbaiting the fact that you, it may be a lie to try and entice people in without actually saying it is a lie because people can at the end of the day they can tell the difference eventually but when you're saying it was a lie we lied to you it was all a hoax what that means is that you are risking putting out into the world the fact that you have actually lied we know from experience of watching so many family vloggers that some kids, they don't even bother watching the video. They read the title and they think that's what ha has happened in the video. So if you say to them on the title, we lied. Some people, you risk those people actually thinking that you did lie. Okay. I don't know how many different ways I can say this, but whilst you're it's obviously clickbait there are the an element of people in your comments which <laughs> they won't have read they won't have watched the whole thing to know what you're talking about except for the fact that you've lied anyway kendall <laughs> then proceeded to have this sort of breakdown she went on and she did like a sarah ingham type narcissistic <laughs> response to to the hate and it was funny i've got to say i did laugh uh, but i just <laughs> let's watch it um i wanted to talk to you guys about things and if you don't want to hear about my woes and worries and life um just skip just just skip okay okay um I'm like, I have a headache. I'm not feeling great. And I haven't had the best morning. Um, I wanted to talk about, this was one comment, but, um, it, I want to address it because I just feel like I want to address it and I'm going to read some of it. Um, this person says, I'm confused. I got the impression from your recent vlogs that you and Daniel were splitting up because he cheated. Let's stop there. Yes, please, dear God, let's stop right there. Kendall, please. Right, I just wanted to point this out. I know it's off topic, but please stop. Stop. 
stop speaking and chewing your gum. Honestly, I just, I find it quite, for, for one thing, it's rude to be talking to, to people and at the moment you're talking to us and you are chewing your gum. It's very crude. I don't know. I just, I find it distracting and just stop doing it, okay? I've noticed you've done it a few times before in other videos and just stop, please. If you've watched my vlogs, then you know that every single time I've given updates, I literally have told you guys, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know the end game. I don't know the end. I don't know the outcome. I don't know. And I hadn't even, and at that point, and many of like many of those vlogs at that point, I hadn't even, I haven't, I hadn't even decided what I wanted to do in terms of, do I want to, pursue reconciliation or completely not at all and we're over a month since everything's kind of happened and I, I have more direction and I'll tell you that in a minute so just a quick update from myself though because since this video was put out she's recently had an argument with Daniel and he has not been anywhere to be seen and it's so uh, yeah the drama just keeps coming it keeps on coming and we can't get enough of this drama, can no. I, I don't know what they're talking about because I've always told you guys, I didn't even know. So, or um, I understand you want to forgive him and move on, but it's still pretty raw. I don't know if, I don't know if I would be so happy and smiling with my hubby. So she says, I don't know if I would be so happy and smiling with my hubby. You don't know, you're exactly right. That's the thing, unless you've walked this out and lived this, you don't know how you would respond. So if you've not walked this out, you have no authority to, to tell me what you would and wouldn't do and what you think I should and shouldn't do. Yeah, you no Mark Randomer. Who the hell do you think you are to tell Kendall? Kendra! What to do? Who the hell do you think you are? You have no authority over this situation, lady. Or man. Anyway, Kendall, calm yourself down, okay? It's a comment on a video, right? It doesn't mean anything. Delete it and block it. End of story, okay? You do not have to respond to any of this if it upsets you this much, honestly. So that means you need to shut your mouth. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot she said that. That just <laughs> left me speechless. My my throat and my... Oh, gee, oh my God. <laughs> Kendall, Kendall, wow. <laughs> you need to shut your mouth, my God. That is legendary, completely. This is the pure Kendra spirit being exhumed from within. I love it. I love it, Kendall. I love it. It means you need to shut your mouth. So, yes, I am upset and feisty because... Just hang on. Okay. Um, which leads me to think that it was just a hoax. Just clickbait to get subs and views. Mind blown. I know, right? Kendall, I know exactly how you feel. If you're getting that amount of hate and comments about you just making it up for views and clicks and everything, I understand how you feel because I have been getting it tenfold. If you've been getting one or two, I've been getting ten. I seriously, I get where you're coming from. It's terrible, isn't it? People... Thinking such things about a family vlogger making things up. <laughs> Where will the world come to an end? Come on. Oh, how could you think such a thing, guys? My words. The audacity. Okay, so I am literally, so here's the thing. I'm not even going to address that. Um, because if you think it's for views and, and subs, then click out. Don't give me the views. Don't give me the watch time. Don't give me the comments. That all helps my analytics. So if you think that 
and no one's holding you at gunpoint to watch our content don't watch don't give me the views then like i really don't care if you think it's all a lie and you think i'm lying why do you watch don't watch don't help my channel out go back to the um to the um the the the, the hate boards and talk about my life over there kendall you're starting to <laughs> resemble a camel <laughs> with the chewing seriously stop it um yeah i i couldn't agree more go back to the hate boards and the the um what is it called the one that you have in america we have tattle and you have uh, ytmd is it is that what it is somebody stop me help me out youtube mama drama that's the one got it <laughs> I've been on the site. I haven't posted, by the way, but <laughs> I have seen it before. <sighs> that was a struggle. Okay, sorry. Continue. Kendall, you were getting angry and telling the world what's what. Don't, don't give me the views, but I really don't care. If you don't, if you think I'm lying, then don't be over here. <laughs> um... So I'm I'd like I'm not even gonna defend it or even like go on about how it's not like I don't even care. You think it's lying? You think we're lying about this? Or you think we're lying about duck donuts? Then don't watch. Like don't unsubscribe. Click out. Cause I mean you watching only helps me. But I don't care. Like okay, you think okay? You think I, we think you think I'm lying? Okay. You think I lied about? Okay. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Kendall, 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 please remember one thing. Remember, you have five children <laughs> that are A, watching this, B, have friends that are watching this. Please have some respect and just calm yourself down. It is not, <laughs> it's not helping the situation, honestly. Just remember that you have do actually have kids, okay? That's all you need to know. Nothing not everything is about Kendall. Honestly, it's not. Seriously. That's where I'm at. Like, okay. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is just, like, how trauma works. So, if you don't know, if you've never been traumatized by something, like, trauma is real sneaky. It is sneaky. It is real, real sneaky trauma. And let me tell you how trauma works, Kendall. Trauma is what your kids have been going through without knowing it for the past few years whilst you've grown a platform of 1.35 million subs and exposed the world to them of everything that they do every day expose them to dangers ex expose their privacy pimp them out that is what trauma is and then in a few years time bam it'll hit them it off snuck up with them and hit them that is how trauma works i get it i understand i've been studying this for a couple of years now so i understand it do you that's the question and trauma doesn't play by the rules trauma doesn't care what other people think trauma definitely doesn't care about youtube trauma doesn't care about what your subscribers think um trauma is trauma and trauma can vary minute by minute day by day and your response to trauma is very unpredictable funny you should be very open about how trauma affects one person but you don't recognize that you could be causing the same trauma to your kids and that's going to be um that's that's just <sighs> kendall you need to step back step away from the internet in fact take your kids off the internet nobody needs to see them in their cheer outfits and stuff you know nobody needs to see it quite why you want to spread it around the internet is quite beyond me and quite why any mother would want to do that i have no idea for example yesterday Daniel and I, we were talking, we were having a great day. We even watched uh, a show together. We made jokes, um, like there was, there was some happiness. I felt okay. This morning, something triggered me and boom, I hate him again. 
I'm literally like texting him right now and I'm upset about things and I'm angry and I'm hurt and I'm back to being mad. Like I don't even want the, the thought of watching a show with him right now makes me just, no. Welcome to trauma. Yesterday, you would have thought we were lying. Yep, we're, you're lying. See, you're having, you're having a good time with him. Today, oh, okay, you're not lying because you hate him again. Like, I can't control my trauma response. I can't control how to heal from this. Like, I literally can't. I wish I could. Um, and I'm not giving you a play-by-play. -play. I didn't vlog yesterday, so unfortunately, you didn't get to you didn't get to hear me talk about the good day. But I'm telling you, today not so good. Tomorrow it could be another great day, and maybe we watch a show together. Like, trauma doesn't really is not predictable is what I'm trying to say and this healing is not linear so I get it you're not used to people being on YouTube being vulnerable are you joking seriously are you actually joking I'm I'm actually speechless I we're not used to people on YouTube being vulnerable okay so let me point you in the direction of your children being vlogged telling the most personal things when your eldest was 13 was it she told us all when and how she has her period what is the best way to um swim whilst on period isn't that what your your 13 year old told us at that point if i remember rightly off the top of my head um that would make her exceptionally vulnerable exceptionally so don't start spouting this shit about how we're not used to people on youtube being vulnerable we're used to you being vulnerable you putting your kids on youtube being vulnerable that is what we're used to we're not used to you talking about your shit life about you kendall we're used to you talking about your kids and their private life that is a vulnerability so don't talk to us about this shit anymore okay family vloggers like you to think that they have the perfect marriages and the perfect children and the perfect life that's what they want you to think so then you can feel bad about yourself when you go through beep i'm just showing you real life because this is what real people go through real people go through divorce and splitting up and and you know having you know misbehaving kids and i'm not saying that i do but i mean yeah i do i we all have misbehaving kids but like it's real life youtubers don't show that so you're not used to it so i get it it's shocking like how, why would you believe me why would you believe that i would like actually share something so raw and vulnerable i don't know so right that was <laughs> all in all that was just legendary absolutely fantastic uh yeah that was kendall with her her life that is um it, i i <laughs> i'm sorry you know divorce is not a good thing separation is not a good thing it's not a good thing for the kids to have to go through i understand that it must be really difficult it must be even harder to have to go through it whilst being a youtube personalities it must be harder still with your mother coming online and spouting this shit to thousands of people it just must be difficult so i have every sympathy for the children but for kendall i'll just keep taking the piss i'm sorry kendall thank you everyone for joining me i hope you've enjoyed this uh, little <laughs> update and please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new comment everything you want to comment down below and take care until next time bye bye